So let's take a look now at how we can move things around. I'm going to select the fireplace video. If I drag the fireplace video into a different library, notice that it says copy. And I can copy optimized to proxy if it's relevant. If, on the other hand, I hold the command key down and drag, now it says move. Dragging automatically makes a copy. Holding a command key allows me to move the file. Copy means there's two versions of it. Move means only one version, but it's in a new location. We can do the same thing. We go up to here, go to File, copy the clip to pick the library. I'm going to say third library, and we're going to just click OK. And notice that it didn't touch any of my existing events. It created a new event and put that media inside it. So I can call this fireplace. Or I could use the move command. So copy or move allows me to move media from one library to another. Well, let's try something different. I want to take this event, the entire event, all the clips that are inside it, and move it to a different library. Because I've selected the event and haven't selected a clip, now this is not move the media, it's move the event. I want to move the event to second library. Go for it. And notice it's now moved the event from the third library into the second library. It moved the event. Remember I said that there was a 3,000 clip limit with Final Cut, and sometimes you may want to have multiple libraries if you've got lots and lots and lots of clips. Well, let's pretend that these are not three clips, it's 500 clips. And I want to create a brand new library based on this event. So select the event, go up to File, and notice it says move event to, I could either move the event to a library that exists already, or I could create a new library directly from that event. I'm going to say new library. We're going to call this airplanes. We're going to move everything. And notice now I have an airplanes event, and there's all of my airplanes clips, and they are not in the first library because they have been moved into a new library. If your library is getting so many clips you can't figure out what's going on and you want to get yourself organized, select an event and move it to a new library. This is really cool, but where this really shines is when we do the same thing with a project. Let's create a new project. We'll call this my project. I'm nothing, if not obvious. All right, so now we're going to put this into the first library media folder, click OK. All right, so now I'm going to take this clip here and edit that down. And we'll take mm, this clip and edit it down. And we're going to take mm, this clip and edit it down. So we've got these three clips. Let's say that what I want to do is I want to consolidate all these clips into a single library. Select the project. Let's go to my first library. Let's find the project, right? My product? That's what I called it. Who types these things? Project. All right, much better. Select it in the browser, not in the timeline. Then go up to File, and notice it says Consolidate Project Files. Because these media files are stored in different libraries, when I select Consolidate Project Files, the files from all the different libraries, regardless of what hard disk they're on, are all going to get brought into the library that contains the project. So let's say that you have an open, which is in library one. You've got bumpers, which is in the graphics library number two, and media, which is in library number three. And now you've got the show done, and you're getting ready to consolidate it and, and put everything together for archiving. Select the project, say consolidate project files, and click OK. And it will then move all the files from all those different libraries and store them in one library. Now here. It didn't have to move anything because they were all inside the same library. But isn't that cool? It allows you to, to get yourself organized. Then, the next thing is, is what happens if you and another editor are working on the same project? You're in LA and, and they're in New York. You've already cloned your media drive, so all of your media exists. And one of you, each of you has an identical drive, so all your media is there. All you need to do is to send a library file back and forth. 
It's called a transfer library. Select it in the browser. Go up to File, go down to Copy Project to Library, and copy it to an, a new library, and we're going to call this Transfer Library. Again, there's no magic to the name. You can call it whatever you want. Do I want to copy the optimized media? No, because I've already got it. So I want to leave all this unchecked and click OK. If you're using external links to your media so that it's stored outside the library, which you would because you're sharing it between two editors, and you don't include the optimized or proxy file, the transfer library is tiny, just a few megabytes, easy to email. You can then email that library to your colleague. They open that library, put it on their hard disk. It will automatically link to all the media so that they don't have to relink it. And this transfer library becomes a way of, of collaborating between editors by sending libraries back and forth. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at media management inside Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.2. For the complete version of this online training, become a member of our video training library at LarryJordan.com slash membership and look for webinar 188. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.